And today's program begins from Port Akut, the River State capital, where one of the nation's three refineries has recommenced operation. This in line with the federal government's pledge to ensure that production of refined petroleum products begins again at the facility before the end of this month. According to the federal government, the objective is to ensure the country stops importing fuel as soon as possible. Our energy correspondent, Olu Phillips, is at the refinery site in River State and now reports. In July of 2021, the GCO and MPC Malam Melikiari spoke to Channels Television exclusively and told us that the preliminary work that has commenced at the Port Harcourt refinery uh, is part of a grand plan by Nigeria to return the country to an energy sufficient country and a an, and net exporter of petroleum products. And uh, he did also say that the three refineries are not dead and that refineries are designed to last for more than 100 years. A lot of people thought that was a fluke. A lot of people thought that was um, trash talk. Um, sometimes and some months ago, um, Channels Television did also return here exclusively to see workers and technical people, um, sprayers, engineers, all working with their hard, uh, with their back bent, drilling, screeding and all of that to bring this Potaco refinery, 210,000 barrels capacity refinery back to work. And we did bring you that um, exclusive report uh, from this refinery and did say that it does appear from what we see that the presidential directive to get the, the refinery open running by December and um, contribute to the renewed hope agenda uh, will be realized. Today, again, we are here um, at the Potaco refinery. I can tell you this. What has happened is this, the Portacot refinery has achieved a mechanical completion. It's important for you to understand how this contract was structured. It's an EPC-IC contract, meaning um, um, EPC and IC. So engineering, procurement, and construction, then installation and commissioning. All of these process, processes have taken place and have come to an end, and that means you can safely say that it has achieved mechanical completion. How about just to understand the way these things work, it means that um, the first, there are two refineries here in one. The first one, which is the 60,000 capacity refinery, is the one that has been set up and running today, and the the other one, which is the 150 capacity, is coming on strongly in terms of rehabilitation and in terms of work and construction and all of the new installations that needed to be done to make sure that they all come back to stream. So today, what has happened is there's a mechanical completion and what that simply also means is that it is ready to receive product. But as it were, in your construction or in building construction, for instance, where you have just finished installing uh, your pumping machine, your plumbing, uh, your plumbing wires, all your plumbing lines, all your electrical lines, you're not going to what you call testing. That process is what is going to happen to ensure that everything that has been done, uh, where you need some fine tuning, you do that, where you need to tune down, where you need to tune up, um, you can do that. And once the products come in, then this refinery begins to crack those products and Nigeria uh, can simply say it has returned to the days when refining is done in country. From the Potaka Refinery, this is Olu Phillips reporting for Channel Television News. And the Minister of State for Petroleum Oil, Senator Heineken Lokobri, also speaks on the high points of the commencement of operations of the Potaka Refinery. Today is a very unique day. You can recall that um, we ought to have held this technical meeting sometime in the month of November. But for some reason, maybe by providence, I was outside the country, GCO2 was outside the country, EVP was outside the country. Most of us were outside the country, and so we couldn't hold this technical We were rescheduled, and then something happened again, we were not in the country. And then eventually we resolved that it's better for us to hold to this technical that will coincide you know, with the commencement of um, operations, you know, of the Potaco Refinery. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to bore you anymore because, you know, people who have spoken before me have spoken all that I would have said, but just to announce to Nigerians that the fulfillment of our pledge, you know, to bring on stream phase one of the Potaco Refinery by the end of 2023 and the subsequent streaming of the phase two in 2024. We heartily announce the mechanical completion of flare up, flare start up on the 20th of December 2023. 
this harass the commencement of production of petroleum products after the Christmas break. We want to thank Nigerians for their patience and the trust on the NNPC to deliver on our promise and mandate on the rehabilitation of our refineries. This is also another landmark on the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration.